and welcome to my tutorial how to play blues with just a few notes the guitar is tuned standard E A D G B E we'll be playing over a backing track that features three chords those three chords are A7 D ninth and E ninth I'm forming my A7 by borrowing from the D string down at fret 5 and putting my middle finger on fret 6 on the G string and playing from the D string like that. I'm playing a D ninth by borrowing the G, B, and high E string at fret 5 and bringing in the index finger to fret 4 on the D string. Now this is a rhythm and blues and blues D ninth. Jazz players would play a D ninth this way, including the D root. And some will argue that this is not a D ninth chord, but as you can hear, we get we're getting the same sound from that chord. This is the D ninth that blues and rhythm and funk players play. We're leaving out the root to get a brighter chord, but the D ninth chord is implied. Okay, so we don't need that low root, especially when the bass player is playing a D note. Okay, so that's our D ninth. We're going to raise that by two frets for an E ninth, and those are the chords that we'll use. For our first set of solo notes, we'll use these. Here's an A, which is our root. That's at fret 10 on the B string. I'm not going to mention scales in this video simply because I want to appeal to all players out there. You don't have to know any theory to understand what I'm going to be playing today. We've got an A. We're going to match the A7 chord with that A. We're going to go back to a G. This is at fret 8. Fret 8, fret 10 on the B string. Now we're going to go to the high E string, fret 8 and fret 10 and we'll mix and match those notes. We might play something like that's from fret 8 to fret 10 and we might do something like this that was fret 8 to 10 on the high E string and we might bend it a little bit and come back to fret 8 and then back to fret 10 on the B string. There's a nice little riff. We might just go or we might or so we'll do as many variations as we can come up with in this little box. Now to match those notes an octave lower, we'll go to fret 5 and 7 and we'll get the same notes an octave lower. So we can play this or now we're playing these notes on the D and G string. Let's experiment a little bit with our backing track and see what we get.
Now to add some more flavor, we might go up to fret number 17. That's a high A. And do that. So we're playing our A here at fret 10. And then fret 17. And we might do a little trick like this. We're going to mute these strings with finger 1 or finger 2 and strike that string and get this. So what I'm doing is muting everything and holding down that one string to get this effect. Now let's try that out and see what happens. For a little bit of variation, let's pick another set of notes. Four notes, starting here at the fifth fret. That's going to be an E, the fifth fret on the high E string, an A. So we've got our root here now. And we're going to go to fret eight to get a G. And then fret eight for C. So we've got E, A, G, and C. Now let's try something with those. As you can see, we don't need a lot of notes to play some decent sounding blues. All we need is the right notes and a little bit of creative expression and feeling. Well, all right, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.